Welcome to the second tutorial. In this tutorial, we will go over simple triangle drawing with this render pipeline. So, what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to, well, replace this stamp block with a draw triangle block. So, from here, we can put the wall texture inside of the with image from the URI section of the block. Now, let's explain what these numbers here mean. Well, our first set of numbers here, 0, 0, 10, 10, 0, 10, all equal coordinates on the canvas where the triangle is drawn. So, we have our canvas. Oh, we're going to want to make that a little more fitting. So let's say this canvas is a little small canvas. Well, 0, 0 would be up here. 0, 10. Yeah, 0, 10 would be right here, and 10, 10, wait, no, 0, 10 would be right here, and this would be 10, 10. And if we connect these, we would get a triangle. That's what this is doing. Now, the second set of numbers here are what we would call the UV. The UV are commonly associated with drawing images. So, we have our image. And that uses a very similar coordinate system to our canvas. But instead of going to however large the canvas is, it goes to 1. And... Any zero be or any number between zero and one can sample an area from this canvas. So if we were to have a texture that was a couple of lines and we had the triangle sample three corners of the image. So this corner this corner in this corner we would get everything within this sample which to us would end up looking like this on the screen somewhat now let's get to the actual coding part of, well, let's make a triangle do some spinning. So, let's create a new list. Call it triangle points. Which we will, well, let's create a little function using our, our custom block creator. Call it create triangle at x1, x2, wait, x1, y1, x2, y2, uh, x3, y3. Now we have our triangle creation block. But we also want to have some UVs associated with this triangle. So we would go, you, we would add a label, UV, U1, U2, or wait, V1, U2, V2, U3, and V3. We would make this run without screen refresh. Now, we would just go in here and add all these numbers to our triangle points list 
which would now consist of, well, whenever we run this block, would add these points that we specified through this custom block into the list, allowing us to add triangles to the scene easier. mistake there. This part is a little tedious, but it's worth it in the end. So, we got, well, let's make a triangle first. It might be a little useful. Now, we're going to do this in Scratch Unit, because we have these nifty little Things that let us convert between the canvas units and scratch units. So, why not use them? So, let's have our triangles. First point start at 0, 0. The next points go to 100, 100. And the last point go to 100, 0. Have our UVs go zero zero one 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 zero. Now, if we were to start, we got our triangle points inside of here. Now it seems fine and dandy, so you realize when you start it again, it doubles them. That can be fixed by, well, deleting all the triangle points. Let's make a function to just draw all the triangles. Or a block to draw all the triangles that we have. So, draw all triangles. We will put right here. In, we'll make a repeat block and make it repeat the length of triangle point divided by 12, which is how many things in this list are, or how many things are in this list. We will create a variable, call it index, set it to zero at the beginning of this, and change it by one. And let's create two more variables. Triangle position and triangle UV. Now we will set triangle position to, uh, we will set to index time, or index times 12 plus 1, which will give us the first x. Now here's where I recommend we should, here's where I recommend we probably create a custom block just to do this so there isn't as much clutter. So, get triangle positions and UV. Now from here, we can just go into here and start creating, or start adding to our triangle position. Or start adding into our triangle position anyway. So we will use two join blocks stacked inside of each other, adding a comma between the triangle position variable and the next thing on the index. We will do this until we reach the 
Well, we will do this until we reach six. Which seems to have worked. You can see we have our triangle position. Now, let's do the same for the UV. Inset the triangle UV. And we'll go 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now if we were to input these into our thing over here, hide all these, and start drawing. Oh wait, I forgot to put it inside of our loop. It's black. We have a black screen. All right, I might have messed something up. Oh, I just realized what I did want wrong. I have it. I have this going off of uh, three instead of six, which causes it to, well, not render. So now we have this triangle drawing, but I lied. It's not in the middle of the screen. Well, that's where converting them to screen coordinates comes in handy. We can start drawing these ones here and making sure to alternate with X and Y. But do not do this for the UVs. That will completely and utterly destroy the UVs. As you can see, it's now relative to scratch coordinates, which is really good. And that means we can use stuff like the mouse to move these points of the triangle. But that should end this tutorial. For now. I will talk to you next time when we create a simple 3D object using this API.